I think motherhood is just so humbling. You know, you, you realize uh, how ill-prepared we all are, how little we know, but this love is so beyond any love you've ever known that it just kicks in and all of a sudden you start scrambling for all the answers and to get in touch with your gut instinct which isn't there right away so when people are like trust your gut you're like my gut I'm losing my mind I don't have I'm not I'm not there yet this is all so new um, but it's it's humbling to have that kind of love it's not like a lover it's not like a best friend it's not like one you've ever known it's this I would lay down and give my life for these kids without question it's not really on my radar <laughs> I don't know how to make it all work people are like how do you balance I'm like I don't I have to pick stuff I have to stop doing stuff I have to cut stuff out of my life I always get in trouble for saying you can't do it all but it's not that you can't have it all I just don't think I can personally do it all at the same time I've tried and I often come to the humbling fact that I cannot do it all at once. I can do almost everything throughout my whole life. I believe in myself, I have confidence, but most of all I have capability and determination to work really hard at things. And I still can't do it all at the same time. It's not possible. I get in trouble because I think women think I'm saying you can't have it all. That's not what I'm saying. You can't do it all. Like Quantum physics won't let you do everything at the same time. So blame science. <laughs> July will be 20 years since Eleanor. It's also going to be 20 years for Never Been Kissed, which is exciting. They happened around the same time. When you look back, how do you reflect at that time? I just think they're both such positive movies for girls, mm -hmm. and they really affected my life positively. Ever After taught me that we all are brought up as women and girls with the Cinderella you know, myth. And the good thing was Cinderella was always kind, and that's why she won at the end of the day. But Ever After taught me to rescue yourself. And it's not that she doesn't want the prince or love. She wants, she wants it, but it's when he comes to rescue her and she's already rescued herself. That's such a great metaphor for women, um, that it's, it's the love at the end of the day, not the rescuing that we're striving for. And um, Never Being Kissed was so great because I am Josie Grossi. I always have been, I always will be. And just having a sense of humor about ourselves and more importantly, an empathy about what people go through in this world. And it's not all popularity and coolness all the time, that there is this raw, vulnerable thing we all go through every day in life. And if we are empathic towards each other, and have a good laugh, it's going to be so much more fun and so much more amazing.